previously on Mims 277's channel. And they're just gonna use this little clause. And most importantly, boom shakalaka bitch, boom shakalaka bitch, boom shakalaka bitch, boom shakalaka bitch. It has come to my attention that I've been using a certain phrase recently in my videos on my YouTube channel. I have understand that this phrase or series of words might offend some people. So due to the nature of these phrases, I've decided to tell you guys that I will no longer be using the phrase boom shaka laka bitch on my channel. Fuck that. What's up YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Mims and boom shaka laka bitch. I'm back. If you guys hate it, then screw you. There's a little unsubscribe button on the top left corner. You can click that and just stop my watching my videos. But anyways, now I'm bringing you part two out of, I think, a four part series on the patch discussion for NBA 2K13. This is going to be a little bit more concise and shorter because you can see how many bullet points there actually is. So let's get started. Started. Nike ID shoes will now appear properly in game after being equipped to a player. So I've seen a bunch of comments on my videos. Memes, why do you use generic shoes? Well, subscribers, I actually like the way generic shoes look. Nah, I, no, I'm just fucking with you. I really don't like the way generic shoes look. I just didn't really have much of a choice. So that's the reason why it's addressed. You should see better shoes on my guy now. Addressed an issue where the game score would disappear in blacktop games when signature highlights were viewed in the pause menu. Never had that happen to me. Fixed an issue where free throw feedback would no longer appear in games after playing an online my team game. Well, that's because the guy was probably so pissed off and threw his controller so much that he might have set off a glitch in the system due to the large amount of three point shots that were going in by the other team. So I'm glad you guys fixed that. Addressed an issue on online my team games where the away team player would have the signature skills of the home team player if the identical players were used in the game by both players. Did not know that would happen. Music will no longer be disabled and game settings will no longer revert back from default when completing an online game in my team. That's nice. Change the difficulty settings for all of the seeds in my team. Okay. 360 addressed a connect issue where a misleading overlay would appear when a timeout was called through a voice command and there were no timeouts remaining. You see, was that really that hard? You really couldn't have read it. I had to read it to you. Like, seriously, I'm not your freaking babysitter. Read the freaking patch yourself. Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> but part three and part four will definitely have more insight. The next part's gonna be my career mode, and the part after that is gonna be association mode. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to thumbs up this video to thank Ronnie and LD2K for accomplishing this and actually hearing our voices because a lot of these issues were addressed by you and various commentators in the community so we do make a difference i talk to ld2k every now and then and he's a really cool guy very good at keeping in touch with the commentators so definitely a huge round of applause should go to him next part should be coming at you guys in like five to ten minutes please show your support because i'm missing the laker game for this man what is it, halftime now? No, it's almost halftime. 